All right, so we have our front turbine compressor housing, center rotating shaft assembly, our manifold for the exhaust, and then our rear turbo assembly with the C-click. And I'd like to introduce our special tool that we made for this project, the snap ring pliers for those big C-clips, AKA snap rings. Most importantly, before you even disassemble the turbos, you want to mark the center housing rotating assembly with the exhaust manifold and the compressor housing so you know exactly how they line up. For example, you see that little notch right there? Well, I marked that right with the exhaust manifold in the same spot. That way when I reassemble them, I can get it right on. Same with the other side. On this housing, let's see, I made a notch right with a ball peen, and I can align it right to the housing. That's how it's going to go together. Now it's time for some action with this custom snap ring pliers I made. Basically, I just drilled two bits that were the exact same inner diameter of these snap ring holes on both sides of this channel lock and extended them enough through the bottom of the channel locks to be able to grab this snap ring. And um, I got to tell you, this is the best way to go about it if your snap ring pliers are too small like mine were for a massive snap ring like this. We're gonna go ahead and install this on the compressor housing. We've got our notch right here. So we're gonna install, leaving our notch exposed because that's where we uh, originally punched the notch, where it was exposed in between the mouth of this snap ring plier. One thing you'll notice too is that this C-clip is beveled. So one side of this edge is actually beveled inwards to slide into the groove of the compressor housing a little bit easier. So make sure you're installing that with the beveled edge facing out of the compressor housing like this. Otherwise, it's not going to slide into the groove if the bevel head is on the bottom. Little tip. Okay, now we're going to take the exhaust housing and line up the pin mark that I made with a punch and a hammer and found it. So I'm just going to line that up, being careful not to damage any of the turbine compressor wheels or exhaust turbine wheels. That's lined up real nice. I'm going to take these brackets and torque them down to hold the rotating housing assembly onto this exhaust manifold. Tighten it. Get in where you fit in. We got that punch lined up. So now that we got the front turbo and the rear turbo assembled off of the sequential twin turbo assembly, we're going to connect them using this center exhaust manifold cast.
so now that we have the sequential twin turbos assembly and exhaust manifold set up, we're going to go ahead and hook up some coolant supply and return lines. And we're going to hook up some oil supply and return lines for the turbochargers so they stay cool and lubricated and functioning. There'll need to be gaskets in between these just as there were in between the connections of the exhaust manifolds. We're not currently uh, putting gaskets in between these because it's just for demonstration purposes. Now we're going to join the whole twin turbo assembly with the main exhaust manifold that bolts onto the rotor housings of this RX-7 engine. Alright, keep in mind that these are the gaskets that go in between these exhaust manifold components. This right here for the block off plate. This is where the turbochargers mount onto the main exhaust manifold. It goes onto the rotor housing. This right, right here, this side right there. We even got an exhaust gasket. This is where the exhaust pipe comes out of the whole twin turbo assembly. So this is the engine side right on the back, laying on the ground right here. I'm gonna magically appear inside of that. Final step of this rebuild to hook up the actuators on this FD's twin turbo. And finally, we have the heat shield components laid out before you. Thank you so much for watching my video. I really hope you enjoyed the experience. I have a small ask. I'm trying to grow this channel, monetize it, bring you all kinds of amazing content. Please like, subscribe, share this video, ring the bell notification. Whenever I drop a new video, you'll be sure to be alerted. It does amazing things for the channel.